start, we have to go to the 1866 when the Pope gave the picture of the icon to us in Rome with the command, make her known throughout the world. Then when the first Redemptress came in 1906, they brought the icon, or as it was called then, picture of our mother of perpetual help. Now, you have to move from 1906 to 1946. But everywhere we went in the missions, there was always a part about the mother of perpetual help. And in Iloilo at that time, before the novena started, there was confraternity of our mother of perpetual help, or as it was called, and mother of perpetual soccer. And this was association of people with devotion to the mother of perpetual help. Then, because of the war years, and the bombing, Americans were involved, as you know from your history. And uh, so when these American soldiers came, there were some of them were from Boston, they asked Father Nolte and Father O'Connor, who were the two left, why not start the novena? But they were a bit reluctant because they hadn't heard about it. In April of 1946, they went to the Archbishop and asked could they start the Novena, so he gave approval. So they started the Novena on May 13, 1946, in this church here that you have seen. And according to the reports, there was only 70 people present. I have tried to find out what time that Novena was at, but it, I'm not able to pinpoint, but I presume it would be somewhere at 5 o'clock. In those times, of course, there was no afternoon masses. All masses were said in the morning. So in the afternoon, it was a devotion. So they had the novena followed by benediction. The earlier version of the novena, as far as I can recall, both from Iloilo and Cebu, it was novena prayers and benediction of blessed sacrament. Then, they had this, they said, this was all in English. Then eventually, there was a demand that there would be one in Visaya. So they, they translated it, and they had one in Visaya, which was around 5 o'clock, and the English one was at 6.15. And that was just two novenas. But according to the history, after six months, they said there was almost 500 people attending both of these, I mean, put the two together, 500. Now, in the beginning, in the Iloilo, there was always, they didn't know when, what day to put on the Novena. But mainly in Iloilo, it was on a Monday, Monday. But when the Novena transferred to Manila and to maybe Cebu, they decided to put it on the Wednesday. So eventually, Iloilo changed to the Wednesday. So all of them were Wednesday. The reason I think for the Wednesday was, was more or less in the middle of the week, because if you had the Novena, you had Sunday, and then you had Monday, it was too severe. So I think the, the fact they made the Wednesday, but now, of course, Wednesday is associated with Mother of Perpetual Health. At that time, there was very no lay involvement except in choir or playing. So the priest was the one who led the prayers. When later on in the late 60s, when we had, there was permission given for after Vatican II, there was permission for afternoon masses. So that's where you began to have the novena coupled with the mass. Naturally, everywhere we went, the novena went. In the mission areas, that's where we also went. We brought the novena, we brought the booklet. It was through the missions that really the novena spread, not from the church, but in the in the mission. So, in the in in those years, you had this missions in Sagai, and that's where the famous uh, Mrs. Habalosa came into it because it was in her farm that they had this novena, and then they as a kind of thanksgiving pasalamat 
sa pasalamat to the for her kindness during the mission they gave her uh, a picture as which is called but the icon of the mother of the petrino sa baryo, siya na ang nagbatol. Uh, sa balayagin pa, Istar, isang natapos na ang ila misyon, uh, gintagaan na sa gift sa pare. Si Father Casey, na-remember ko kagang niya, ito, ayaw po. In fact, tagaan na siya sa icon sa Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Gin nag-sign gani gito, gin butangan nila dedication. Gin treasure ya gid nga, no, gift sa iya. In fact, ang ina nga image, ara gin na si center sa iya altar. Isang nagpaulit na kami di sa Bakulod, nag-transfer kami di sa Bakulod, gin dala niya man na ara na gyapon sa center sa iya nga altar. Huwag gina niya gina ano. Pagkarap sa sariling turist na gasimba, kaghalos talang-talang niya mga pari sa sariling turist, kilala yagid. Yagid na uh, mga migo niya. In fact, ang collector sa sariling turist, ngayon tagaan niya ng uniform, kay siling niya every Wednesday, kung nag-novena, Uh, maayugid nyo na ka-blue ang ilabayo. If I say mas of the family, I would say that the great inspiration I, I have as a priest, no, even up to now, was the uh, witnessing of Night Patrick and her love for her family, and her love for the church, and with her love for the people of God. No? And her devotion no, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, especially to the our mother of perpetual health. Because I would always uh, see her daily, actually, no? also going to church, whatever, wherever it is. No? Because their house was also near to the Redemptorist Church in Bacolod, I would always see na, uh, that she was always there no? with her chaperones and everyone who would come with her. And even if he, she would uh, do that, no? there's no miss no? Uh, actually in what she did. No? She was very faithful, actually in her devotion, especially in going to Mass every day. She lost her mother at the age of four. Since then, si Lolo nagbuhay binata. So, si Nanay na ninguha para sa iya kaugalingon how to survive naga stay siya sa iya mga aunties na transfer siya from one aunties to another uh, while ara siya sa iya auntie ga, ga help siya sa balay uh, ga bulik siya kung ano ang ang household niya ano nga ubra like washing the dishes cooking tapos every Friday may ara na siya isa ka antina na nga may restaurant sa Sagay sa Vito inang nagabulig siya as a uh, food server she got married at the age of 16 uh, si tatay naga uh, nagaubra as a teacher sa amon na barrio after sa ma, ma off siya sa iya klase, ga sideline siya as a driver. Though, pampasahero nga jeepney from our barrio to to the town. So, while the wait na siya sa mga pasasang jeepney nga mapuno, ga sideline pag na siya nga mag siya as a cargador. Tapos, uh, si nanay naman, wala lang ga sa lig, wala ga sa lig lang siya sa kay tatay, In her way, in her own way, nagapangita man siya sang negosyo nga iya, any negosyo nga iya mahimo para mabulig niya sa ila income, para mabulig niya sa kay tatay, magsagot sa ila kabataan. Nanay was very enterprising, bisan anong nalang uh, klase sang negosyo, ginasudlan niya like, 
magbaligya siya bugas, baligya sa tabako, baligya sa kung ano-ano lang na pwede niya mabaligya para manegosyohan niya. Nakuha man na namun sa kay nanay, ang iya pagka-enterprising bala, do na-influence kami niya sina nga nga bisan ano lang pwede mo mahim kun imo gitutukan imo ubrahon and then ang imo ginapakaon sa imo pamilya dapat halin sa imo pinangabudlayan
gusto gin ang pagtudlo ni nanay sa amon na sa subong gina gin sumud gid namon ang iya gin tudlo sa amon kapin pa mag ang devotion namon kay mama Mary na amo gina gin kwa namo kag ang iya flores di mayo hasta subong amon gin wala na namon gin umtat kami na subong ang nagtik over sa iya ubra hasta sa mga bata kay la hindi ka li kung malapit ka kay mga mimi kay damo kita na hatag ng mga ng mga blessing sa amon si nanay nagdako nga wala sa isa ka iloy wala siya may nakita nga example nga iya sundon pero tumod sang iya faith tumod sang iya pagsalit sa Dios kay mama Mary inang napadako ya kami na nadala niya kami sa maayon, na influence niya kami sa among religious life. Very close gig ang among nga kwan sa, sa church through sa iya pangamuyo. Kaya mabatian ko na kung kaisa in one of our prayers nga ma-mention na siya Mama Mary, tudlo ko kung paano maging isa ka iloy sa akong kabataan kung paano ko sila padakuon base sa inyo sa, kab- sa pagbuot sa ninyo. Katudlo gin sa amon na ang pagdala sa familia kinanglan may ara respeto, may ara love, kag of course, hindi pagdulaon ang pagtuo sa Diyos. Sa tanan nga timpo, ang inyo nga paghirupay, ang, ang closeness nyo, updan nyo git sa pagpangamuyo. Ang, ang amo man ang akong experience sa akong ginikan kung paano nila kami ginpadako, paano sila nag, nagtinguha para nga mapadako because we are eight in the family. Napag-graduate nila kami tanan, ang ila influence, ang ila pagpadako sa amon, ang pag nila sa amon. Gusto ko man nga i-impart, i- i- gusto ko man amon ang akong sundon para pagpadako sa akong kabataan. Because nakita ko ang resulta sa amon. Kung ano kami subong, gusto ko ang akong, akong bata, ang amon kabataan, magsunod man. Kay maayo kami nga pagpadako. So, gusto ko man nga sundon kung paano kami nilagin I think this was the, 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 the very focus of her life, that her intimacy with the Lord in, in terms of her love for God, in terms of her how she was deeply uh, affectionate to the Blessed Virgin Mary, to the, our Mother for Faithful Health. Actually, these were as, uh, the source of her integration, of how she, she brought this Uh, love for God, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, also to how she would fairly, you know, uh, sincerely and charitably deal with her family. So that's, I think, the, 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 the relationship that she you know, uh, was able to witness, no? not only to her family, but to the people around. I will always see that uh, when there are people who need her help, especially to those who are sick, she would actually visit them, no? and people who... Uh, members of her uh, relatives who would die, so also visit them. Then. Even if how far no, is, is the place, no, how far the place is, should always go there. No? Uh, just to, to, to show her presence and of course charitably also bring anything that would help no, the bereaved no, uh, members of the family. What I really experienced with I Patri is, uh, when I was at Greece already, was Her, her presence no, shows really, uh, showed really how she cared no, for anyone. I, I, I myself experienced it from her no, that uh, she was not so thoughtful no, and then very generous, very very charitable. Very generous with si Nanay. Kapin pa sa iyong mga relatives. Huwag kami may na duman no may makakto sa amon mga relatives niya or mga pigado nga, nga nagapuli lang wala kita lang si nanay uh, after sa death ni sa iya mother 
nag-start na siya sa iya. Nag-transfer siya from one auntie to another. Kasi o niya nga relative para lang uh, to survive. Ang amo na karon nga ang iya mga paryente hindi iya gina malipatan. Kaginahambal niya gina sa amo nga inang iya mga paryente nakabuli gina sa iya pagpadako, pagpangabuli iya. Kaya so maabot ang time nga ang iya paryente mapalapit lang sa iya bisa magbisita not necessarily magbuli, mga yung buli. Iya gina 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 amuma iya gina gina entertain in uh, Bato, Central Bato, she was able to actually donate so much no, for the construction of the, the, the church there, the, uh, the St. Truk uh, Paris in Bato. No. It was actually the family who really financed it no, and made it possible that it would be really an you know, adult, no, uh, despite of the thing that not only that they had to, to give in the finances, but also in actually visiting time to time, no? what would be the development of that parish. Among the priests who, would, who, who were also there, and in other cases, other priests in Bacola, I know that they have been also funding no? uh, seminarians to become priests, and even would help the priests no? in, their, in their parishes. And I, I would see that, you also see that the, the priests that are being held are those priests who are actually assigned in the poor parishes. Oh, and in many occasions, it also help many people who are indigents no? in, in the process. So, ang, I, uh, what I really experienced with I Patrick is, uh, when I was a priest already, was her, her presence no? shows really, uh, showed really how she cared. No? For anyone, I, I I myself experienced it from her that uh, she was not so thoughtful no? and then very generous, very very charitable. One time, si nanay nagkato kami sa simbahan, nagsiling siya nga nagkato sa sapari, nagsiling siya nga siguro may pagguro ini na simbahan, mabutang tadi isa karon para sa mga iskwilahan sa mga bata na gagmay. Kasi yan nga, ah, ang protestante gani, magkapatindog sila sa kinder school sa kabataan na ah, kita father na hindi ta makakwante ang pare. Why did ka tingog? Kaya kahit balo ang pare mo, nga budlay kung magpatindog, wala kwarta, wala ano. Pero sa nagsiling ko dahil na, oh, ay man na sila igasto niya, sige lang. Kaya atong ginapangitaan ang magkastuhan. Isa sa benefactors sa Centro for Mission Center, ang muto si the late Nanay Patring, Havelosa. Ginapadala niya ang mga kabataan sa niya mga tinawong, ang mga preschool diri. Kag siya ang nagabayad sa monthly tuition and the uniform. Recently, we have a project now, a resurrection chapel. Um, project by uh, Nani Patring. Amo na kitaan man na daw kinahanglanon ang Resurrection Chapel para nga makabulig man sa mga pigado na mundo nga mga utod kung may kalisod sila. Initani siya nga project ginpuha ini sa mga donasyon sang pagsilibrar namon sang akon bana sang amon golden wedding anniversary akong ginsiling nga imbis sang regalo donation na lang para makapatindog kami sang resurrection chapel so amo na ni karon ang ginahimo diri namon sa amon barangay para nga ang mga tawo man may butangan sila nga maayo man nga lugar kung may ara sila sa ila kalisod so we're very thankful for this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, project of Nani Patrick.
in the Redemptorist Mission in Sagay in the late 1960s, the icon touched the life of my grandmother. My grandmother was touched by the icon and became a devotee whose devotion is seen concretely in her life, in the way she raised her children, and in the way she helped others. She is a devotee with a mission. The icon touched the life of Patria, and in the process, she also became an icon to her children, grandchildren, and to other people. The icon of our Mother of Perpetual Health invites us to come to Jesus, the Perpetual Health, and in the process, Mary also invites us to become an icon to others. Thank you.